I'm just cleaning and clearing this bed. I don't know if you remember me saying to you that this is going to be for some of the early salads and that. It's where I've been hardening off some of those ceilings you would have seen a couple of weeks ago. So the way I set it up is using these doors that are reclaimed out of off showers and that's the nighttime setup as I harden them off and during the day I simply fold that back down pull this back so, so that's working quite well you can see there's those peas that I had the early shoots from they're coming along very nicely now at this point some of that salad that I'd started off in January I've picked a little bit through that and um, there's scallions and some of the onions remember one of my last videos dad was saying harden them off and then you have the early spinach and beetroot and that lettuce I picked up for $1.99 for a pack there's 12 modules in it and in some of the modules there's actually two plants so really to get that little bit of a head start couldn't go wrong peas and beans so broad beans um, they're in the furthest pot you can't really see because of the bit of light and then there's some shiraz and delicata so they're monge too so that's the first sowings of those crops here so i'm going to fit most of that into this sort of area in my early cropping area and i can move the patio doors then around and about you know on frosty nights and whatnot just to protect them if i feel that they need protection we're in the glass house um, in the protected area of the glass house it's been very useful there's the tomatoes need to be potted on so i'm going to pick three or four of each variety and put them into two liter pots so they're looking very well aren't they I'm quite happy. My target was to have tomato fruits by uh, May and for them to fruit they have to be up about 18 inches for the flowers to form on them and so that would have to happen in April for the fruits to come along so I'm pretty confident we'll have something whether they'll be ripe and red I do not know and there's some more seed that I've sown um, two weeks ago you can see the temperatures in the glasses. It does get pretty warm. It's important to be opening and ventilating. Um, so we've had nice success. Cosmia seeds. There's more spinach seeds. There is uh, more beetroot seeds. Uh, the rock as that was up is <laughs> still up and growing. So they're all going to be pricked out. You can see they're quite big, aren't they? So I'm going to be pricking them out of the three inch pots. They're ready for that at this point. So. I've sowed some dahlias where see the way that one has lots of leaves on it and the one right beside it has very few they are like a magnet for slugs oh my goodness slugs 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 every night I'm coming up picking off more slugs so uh, yeah, it's unbelievable oh yeah my peppers I didn't show you these last weekend or 10 days ago but that's the peppers there they need to be potted on now the three inch pots maybe even five inch pots they're nice aren't they they're coming along very well. Their Romero is the variety, so I'm very happy with them. Right, so that was a little look around the garden, what's going on, um, yeah, and because I have a few days off this week, I'll be doing a bit more, so no doubt if I'm doing anything interesting, I'll take the camera out, set up the uh, tripod, and uh, give you a look 
gosh, what's going on? Thank you for all the likes and watches and subscribes and comments. Stu of Petals on the Paving Slabs gave me a shout out uh, the weekend before last. So that was very nice. I'd sent over a picture of one of the pot displays. So that was uh, quite cool. Thank you, Stu. Anyway, for now, cheers. Catch you soon. Bye.